Hi, I'm Joe, a fifth year medical student from Norwich Medical School. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to explain your motivations to study medicine whilst at interview. Your motivation to study medicine is a really common area to be discussed at interview. It might be a little bit cliched, but medical schools really want to understand why you're here. Therefore, it's really important that you have something prepared. The answer to the question of why do you want to study medicine is really personal to you, so we can't tell you exactly what to say. However, what we are going to try and do is give you some tips and techniques to make sure you have a structured, methodical answer which the interviewers will enjoy listening to. What I'd like you to do now is pause the video and take five minutes to brainstorm some ideas about why it is that you might want to be a doctor. Try and think of some examples in your work experience of how you could demonstrate these and practice saying them out loud. It will really help you to get used to explaining yourself. Some things you could mention are having an interest in science or a desire to help people. Or maybe it's the fact that you want to work in a really diverse team. It might be that you want to have a career that challenges you, which involves lifelong learning. You could also talk about how medicine is a really varied career. It's important to back up all of these points with some insights that you gained on your work experience. For example, my personal reasons were that I was interested in the multifaceted nature of the job. I would be able to work with others, lead teams and ultimately be able to help people. I used examples from my work experience to back up all of these points and I also noted that whilst the career could be very challenging, I noted how rewarding it could be as well. Here are some of my key top tips. Make sure you have an answer prepared, but try and make it sound natural. You can achieve this by rehearsing it with other people, such as your mum and dad. They might get a bit sick of it eventually, but it will really help you to understand how best to explain your thoughts and ideas to other people. It's important to sound passionate, but don't get too carried away with emotion. You can help try and manage this by bringing in examples from your work experience that are short and concise and relevant to what you're saying. Make sure you don't list points. Pick two or three and expand on them rather than listing 10 reasons why you want to be a doctor. It really helps to understand that medicine is a fusion of both science and social aspects. So make sure your answer reflects this. My biggest tip is to make sure that you use your work experience in this answer. Try and think of a few good examples of when you saw doctors really going above and beyond for patients and how that inspired you to want to become a doctor yourself. Don't forget that there is no correct answer to this question. Medical schools just want to see that you've thought about this career, considered it, understand some of the positives and negatives and ultimately aren't just going into it because your parents want you to. I'd now like you to watch this video and reflect on what you thought of it. Try and give it a rating out of five and come back when you're ready to discuss it. I want to do medicine because it is a prestigious job and I want to challenge myself academically with the opportunity to earn good money as a bonus. I would give this video a one out of five. It's a poor explanation and a student comes across as being driven by the prestige and money associated with medicine rather than the job itself. I love medicine uh, and have had a dream of going to medical school since I was young. Viewing my father's life depending operation at the age of 16, I was given an insight into the intricacies of a hospital and the pressure-driven yet intellectually engaging environment of medicine. I would give this video a 3 out of 5. The answer starts off a tad idealistic and is a concern about a stereotypical life-changing event that not everybody will have. However, the student does link his experience to what he gained and learned from it, so it's not a terrible answer, but it's not perfect. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to demonstrate your motivation to study medicine. Answering this question involves two key parts. The first is that you need to demonstrate a passion for medicine, a genuine interest in the subject. You can do this through examples from your work experience of when you saw doctors going above and beyond to help patients. The second part is that you need to demonstrate an informed decision. You need to show that the experiences you have gained on work experience or in other areas have shown you that medicine could be a challenging career as well as an interesting one. Try to avoid being these two people. Person A has a strong passion for medicine, but he's not got very many experiences to justify his views. Person B has lots of work experience, but she has little genuine passion in the job. I enjoy the detailed scientific academia, which intellectually stimulates and challenges me. Alongside this, the human engagement, which is involved in clinical practice. So this is a good answer because it links together two different but equally important sides of medicine, the scientific theory, but also the clinical practice. I have particularly enjoyed learning about the complexities of the human body from both a macro perspective in terms of the way which different organs and systems work together to maintain life um, and from a micro perspective. So in particular, cellular mechanisms such as protein synthesis and polarisation of a nerve cell. 
You may be thinking, where can I expect to be asked about my motivation to study medicine in an MMI interview? The question of why medicine has fallen out of favour with some medical schools because it's notoriously overprepared. However, you may still get a station where you're asked to talk about the roles and responsibilities of a doctor and potentially your motivations to study it too, so make sure you have an answer prepared. It's also a really good question to reflect on anyway, as it will help you to understand some of your own reasons to study medicine and how that can influence the rest of your interview. A good tip for answering this question in multiple mini interview stations is to be concise in your answers. Many candidates get carried away talking too much about one point and forget that often the interviewer has four or five questions to get through, all of which will be scoring marks. Therefore, try not to spend too long on giving one point and ensure that the interviewer has time to ask all of their questions. So I hope those exercises were helpful in helping you to structure your answer to the question of why do you want to study medicine? This is a question which you need to keep practicing in the run up to your interview and you might find your answers change and that's completely fine. Just try and keep track of your different ideas that you've thought of, try them out on other people and see if they work. Thanks for watching this video. Click below to subscribe and catch more of our videos. To watch our full online course and find out how you can enrol onto our award winning program with personalised one-to-one tutoring, online weekly webinars and more, click here.